Qualcomm SDX7 5 Wi-Fi 7 router. You can tell at a glance from the casing that it is a 5G router and not a regular 5G router. Equipped with the WIF i7 function, it offers faster speed. The TS9 port enables us to connect to an outdoor antenna. There is also a very convenient feature where you can simply tap your NFC-enabled phone to establish a connection. Turn to our side for a more detailed explanation. The chip used is the BE7200 Wi-Fi 7. Carrier aggregation can achieve for CC. This is also a router that supports carrier aggregation. We also provide a 2 5G port. This will enable us to achieve a faster network speed. The SDX75 device can connect up to 256 devices at most. Having the one-click mesh function, the RJ11 interface can be utilized with the VOIP function. On the right side of the packaging, there are more detailed parameters. Okay, then next we'll open our package. Open the small box on top of the main box and let's see what's inside. The first one is a charger. Below is a network cable. When we open it, we can see the Suncom logo and a one-click mesh bucket router. Moving on, we can see the TS9 interface, the RJ11 interface, and the two 5G network port. At the bottom, we can see the model number of the machine, parameters, and the positions of the inserted cards. Next, let's take a look at the performance of the router. Today, on the back end, we can see the status of a router. SMS function can receive and send text messages. This router has a wide range of functions, covering almost all the features that advanced users need. Many people are paying attention to the cell lock settings. It can optimize the network signal and speed. And the TTL settings option is also a feature that many users are concerned about. The function of its settings is mainly to configure and manage the router. They're specific at commands. You can also modify your IMI number here. In addition, the static IP address that most users are concerned about can also be modified. Other internet settings are also quite comprehensive. These settings include DHCP, static DHCP, and GRE settings. The settings for Wi-Fi are quite comprehensive including the settings for 2, for g and 5G Wi-Fi. Many people are concerned about this and FC settings. Here you can set it to 5G by default. It is 2 for G Wi-Fi. Next up is the calling function. Here, we will focus on the VOIP function. This is currently one of the few routers on the market that have VOIP functionality. In addition, Suncom's routers also place great emphasis on security. Through so many security settings, you can understand that network security is extremely important. Also, regarding the system settings, it is relatively common to perform regular restarts of the router. This will result in a better network performance. Multiple voices can be set up. This is our regular testing speed, which is close to a 2G download speed. Of course, there are many factors affecting this network speed, such as problems with the base station and SIM cards, etc. This network speed is suitable for us gamers or those who are keen on high-speed internet connections. This is extremely attractive. Would you like to have a 5G high-performance router?